This segment brought to you by Kansas Corn. Learn more at kscorn.com. Welcome back. Now let's see what Kyle and Dwayne are up to on Plain Talk. Hi, this is Kyle Bauer with Plain Talk with Dwayne Taves. Wow, what an introduction. I'll charge you for that jingle someday. Fact or fiction question of the day, Kyle Bauer. U.S. Park Ranger Roy Sullivan holds the record for living through the most lightning strikes. Roy Sullivan. Fact or fiction? Roy Sullivan sounds like a prize fighter. Um, okay, there's so many things that could be wrong with that being fact. He could have been a baseball player struck by lightning. He could have been a park ranger, not by that name. He could have been a park ranger that was actually eaten by a bear that many times instead of... Eaten by a bear? It's well, not just about survive being eaten by a bear. Or just one appendage at a time. Oh, okay, he didn't, oh he didn't, a bear. Well, he just ate an arm, ate a leg, you know. Chewed in, on his... In head. ear. Uh, I don't think it was that. Um, Roy Sullivan, park ranger, hit by lightning. I'm going to go with fiction. It's true. Really? Old Roy, seven times hit by lightning. You wouldn't be standing around visiting with Roy. <laughs> no. Roy, <laughs> Roy had a hard time making friends. He had no close friends. <laughs> <laughs> All his friends were at arm's length. Everybody was calling him on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Wireless phone on Wireless, top of that. yeah. No yeah, phone line. No phone line. Yeah, you exactly. That whole landline thing, can you really be... St- have you know people talk about don't shower in a rainstorm for example yeah well i possible i think it's possible highly unlikely i think it's but no i I know of no one and i've lived for 50 years i know of no one who died being electrocuted in their bathtub in a lightning storm yeah me either i don't even know anybody who was ever even injured that way do you know any have you ever been hit or not hit by lightning but near Actually, if you had been hit by lightning, it would explain a lot. Yeah. Well, um, but have you seen it hit? Uh, yeah, actually, I have. My my brother was struck, so to speak. I, I think he was struck by lightning. Which one? The goofy one? Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to divulge <laughs> names to protect the guilty. Okay. But we were in the barn one time when we were kids, and there was a storm, and uh, it, it came through the wooden barn and knocked him down. So did you see fire around you? I no, mean, a, a light. You just saw a flash. big flash. I yeah. saw a flash. You didn't see fireballs fireball. coming down. No, no okay. fireball or anything. And so what did it do to your brother? Knocked him down? Yeah, it just knocked him down. And, I mean, he was, he was a little tingly. Yeah. So, I suspect. But he what, didn't get knocked out. No, I did not. He was not unconscious. So well, I assume you didn't take him to the doctor. No. We, no. We were we don't, we don't go to the doctor. No. I broke my leg once, and my parents didn't take me for three days. Yeah. Lace that boost up, boy. <laughs> Seriously. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. A, can yeah. you wiggle your toes? Yeah, and you didn't break it. <laughs> so I was once playing center field in Morganville at the softball field, yeah. and a bolt of lightning came and hit the house right behind Home plate. Now it was like a hundred, not a hundred yards. So you watched. It. I watched. It. I was it in center field. You. It, no, you saw it. No, it was exactly. I mean, that was like right there. It was like seventy yards behind home plate, and oh. it just goes whammy and hits that house. And it was like I can see it like it was yesterday, and um, we all left the field. Yeah. Then after. <laughs> Coaches, and, 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 you all know, might come in. Let's stand in the metal um, dugout yeah, under this with, metal roof and put the pipe fence. Yeah, till till this storm fall. Yeah, fly. and I think we did go back to the field, and um, I think yeah, there was significant damage to that house. I was going to say, did it catch on fire? No, uh, but I think they were washing clothes at the time, and it blew all the water out of the washing machine. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Jamie Bloom, and I hope you enjoyed today's show. See you next week on Farm Factor. Closed captioning brought to you by Egg Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at eggpromosource.com.